Welcome back to Rescue Bots Academy Season 2. Today we're taking a look at Episode 21, Multi Change of Pace. In this episode, Hotshot finally learns to break through the one alt mode per day limit and master his multi-cog. We learn at the beginning of this episode that the one alt mode per day limitation of Hotshot's multi-cog can actually be overcome. Although by the end of this episode, we never really learn whether this was a real limitation of the multi-cog like maybe some kind of safeguard built into the device so that the user doesn't become overwhelmed by the constant switching and go crazy like animated Blitzwing. Ooh, I want to see him turn into a fire truck. Can I? Can I? <laughs> Can I? <laughs> or if this was simply a mental limitation set by Optimus Prime, simply saying to Hotshot that he could only use one alt mode per day and him not trying to surpass this artificial limit. I think maybe this was a bit of both. I think maybe the multi-cog has some safety restrictions for new users, kind of like transformation training wheels, but Optimus maybe told Hotshot he could only use one alt mode per day so that he wouldn't try to do more before he was ready. Says who? Duh, Optimus. It's a rule. Optimus chose you because you aren't bound by rules. Wait, yeah, Hotshot is always breaking rules. I'm surprised that this was the one rule he never tried to break until now. Heatwave Sim to try and get Hotshot to unlock the true power of his multicog kind of reminds me of the jump scene in The Matrix. You know, if Neo kept falling over and over and over again. It also kind of reminds me of the bridge from the end of Temple of Doom. Also, Hotshot trying to transform reminded me of how in Beast Machines, the Maximals had to relearn how to transform. It was no longer an automatic process initiated by a simple activation word like saying maximize. Maximize! Or calling out the desired mode like Hotshot is doing here. Jet mode! they had to concentrate and focus on the act of transforming. And I feel like this is kind of like what Hotshot is going through now. And I'm very proud of Hotshot for trying so many times and not giving up. He only stopped because his friends told him he had to take a rest and recharge his Energon reserves. When Hotshot wakes up and there's nobody around, for a second I was worried he had been asleep for so long that he'd woken up in the future. And the rescue bots had left Earth for some reason and had left him behind. But no, they're just all on a mission. So, his friends seemingly in mortal peril, Hotshot heroically breaks through his multi-cog limitation and uses all three of his alt modes to save his friends and the workers. And it's revealed that this was all a sim to help motivate him. And Optimus hints to Hotshot that there may be more to his multi-cog than meets the eye. Or have you just scratched the surface of what the multi-cog can do? Wait, what? It does more? This was a great episode. Maybe my favorite so far. I am so proud of Hotshot for trying his little spark out to become a true multi-changer. I also find it interesting how the way Optimus and Heatwave talk about him in this episode, it feels like they're grooming Hotshot for being something greater than just a rescue bot. Like maybe Hotshot is eventually destined to become the next prime. And with all due respect, Optimus, he's just not ready to reach his full potential. You are his mentor, Heatwave. It's your job to make him ready. But I guess we'll have to wait and see if that happens. As always, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and do all that other fun stuff. And join me next time when we'll be checking out Season 2, Episode 22, Five Little Rescue Bots.